Prime Minister David Cameron is enjoying a post-election honeymoon with the Labour Party still in the long process of choosing a new leader. Now is the time for Mr Cameron to be provocative by settling London's much debated airport capacity problem. Well, that's the view of Janan Ganesh, our political commentator. Janan, why do you take that view? Well, this issue of London's airport capacity has been going on for most of my lifetime, actually. Heathrow is overstretched. There isn't even that much extra capacity at Gatwick and Stansted and the other airports. And it says something, I think, about this country's inability to take critical infrastructure decisions, decisions that are going to help economic growth and provide certainty to business, that we still haven't nailed this. And I think now, with an electoral mandate, with Labour in disarray, with effectively no opposition in the country, there is never going to be a more propitious moment to pick a fight and do something bold on Heathrow. But to pick a fight with his own party, the Conservatives, there's uh, Mr Zach Goldsmith, he, he has uh, who, uh, an MP in West London, he's going to be running for mayor. He's one of the most vigorous opponents. Uh, Boris Johnson also, the current mayor. Yeah, there's, there's Zach Goldsmith, <laughs> Boris Johnson, and lots of other MPs in West London and thereabouts who hate the idea of any further building on Heathrow. David Cameron in opposition also indicated that no Conservative government that he, that he led would ever build a third runway at Heathrow. So there will be enormous political pain. But I think as a, as a political advisor, you'd say to him, if you're ever going to do something about this, it's going to provoke hostility and opposition. Why not do it in this summer? If you, if you wait even six months, Labour will have a leader. Um, the usual mid-term drag on a government will start to occur. You'll be bogged down in Europe and it will be impossible to take a decision on something as contentious as this. So you've got maybe eight or ten weeks this summer and the report by Sir Howard Davis, the former regulator, is coming out this week. Why not grasp the nettle and do it now? And if you were a very bold political advisor, you might say to the Prime Minister, you keep talking about Britain being in a global race. Well, you can't be in a global race if you haven't got a modern airport system. Yeah, you can't be part of the global race if the globe can't come to your country. Um, we have dangerously few routes into Asia and Latin America for a, for a country which is as globalised and as open and as dependent on trade and investment as Britain is. And that is because of this capacity question. It's also the case that all it takes is a, a trivial incident at Heathrow and suddenly there are backlogs and cancellations and delays because there's so little spare capacity within the airport. These problems have been going on for, for decades really and if, if, if there's a point in winning elections it's to, it's to do unpopular things in the immediate aftermath. And I'd be, I'd be disappointed if the government thought, well, here's an opportunity to fudge the question again, because previous governments have been doing that for two or three decades now. I'm going to put you on the spot, Janan. You, uh, what do you think the report is going to recommend? And you haven't mentioned Gatwick, which, of course, is the second option. I think the report will say that an extra runway at Heathrow makes a bit more sense. It consolidates the, the hub airport. But politically, Gatwick, look, Gatwick looks a bit easier. Janan Ganesh, thank you so much.